This content is for educational purposes only. What you do with this information is at your own risk. Thank you for watching. Enjoy. How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I wanted to share with y'all that I have updated my CFW packs to support the latest switch firmware, which is right now 20.5.0. These CFW packs consist of these two separate zip files that you can download. All of the links are going to be in the description down below. But these two zip files you can use to manually update your CFW on the SD card. And one will have the latest version of Atmosphere 1.9.5. And the other will be the same version of Hecate as before 6.3.1. However, I did re-download this just in case that it has any updated um, sources to support the latest switch firmware 20.5.0. I also updated the links with my modified version of the AIO switch updater app. So you can use that as well, which I'll be showing later on in this video. Okay, so unfortunately, I do not have time because of my busy work schedule to do a tutorial guide like I do on my previous videos. So I'm sorry about that, but I just wanted to get the support out there to y'all as quick as possible. I was seeing your comments about the new firmware 20.5.0. So getting the support to y'all quickly was of great importance to me. <laughs> so with that being said, for those of you that do need a tutorial guide, you can still use my previous videos on this subject in which I will put links in the description to those two videos in where, in which you can use uh, my modified version of the AIO switch updater app to update through your directly from your switch or you can do the manual update option on your SD card. So you'll have those two video um, options and like I, I even though they are previous versions, they still work exactly the same. So you could just use my updated packs and with those previous videos. So Hopefully that works out for you. But of course, if you have any issues, any questions, you can leave a comment down below and I'll try and answer them and help you as best as I can. For now, in this video, we're just going to go through my packs and just give a quick uh, explanation on what you can do with it, what I added. And we're going to go through my modified version of the AL switch updater. So first, let's start with the other side, AMS 1.9.5. I'm going to use 7-Zip to open up my archive. I, I always use 7-Zip, highly recommend it. If you want to have as minimal issues as possible, there's a download link for 7-Zip in the description as well. But with 7-Zip, I always just do the bare minimum of atmosphere. And I only do that one basic thing that is important for CFW. So I can't get into much detail, but just know that at least the main basic function is there for you. I do add the Fusey bin in this pack, just in case for those of you that use the Tegra RCM GUI and do not use Hecate, you can use the Fusey bin here to uh, inject payload. In the switch folder, I do not add a bunch of apps like other packs may use, just in case, um, just wanna keep it simple. So there are as minimal issues as possible. The only app that I do add is this quick reboot app. And this is the app that I made myself. And it pretty much acts like a quick, uh, a reboot to payload that Atmosphere has, but for Marico devices, you can use it on all devices of the switch. And, but mainly did it for Marico devices. So with that being said, if you do have an older version of the switch, an OG or a V2, I guess Arista, you could use this quick reboot still. And the reason why I said you can do that is because I have replaced the Hecate bin file, which I'm gonna open up here. This payload.bin, I renamed it from Hecate uh, 6.3.1. I renamed it to payload.bin because when you extract both of my zip files to your SD card, most of the mod chips that are installed on Mariko devices will look for the payload.bin uh, file and boot back into Hecate for you. So that's why I renamed it. I did also rename this to reboot to payload.bin for those of you that have OG switches or V2s. And when you click on reboot to payload, either with Atmosphere or my, with my quick reboot, it should also take you back to Hecate. So those are the things I did. You could use this payload.bin 
or the RCM uh, GUI, if that's what you use, or the RCM loader, in case you use those things as well. Now, this version of my, my modified version of the AIO switch updater app, I haven't done any updates because it's still working for what I need it for, which I'm going to show you right now. But basically, it just links to my uh, GitHub releases of my packs that we have here. That's why they're always uh, separated now from my previous videos. It was just one, but I have them separated because of this AIO switch updater app. But that being said, now we can just move our attention to the switch. And here you can see that I'm on 20.5.0 with my atmosphere 1.9.5 with an S. And mine has an S. Yours might have an E because you're using yours on Emu MMC. I'm using mine on regular SysNAND. Now talking about those that have regular SysNAND or use online services with regular SysNAND, I do have blockers enabled immediately when you use this CFW pack. And this is just to prevent you from accidentally updating in the future. So those of you that use online services with regular um, SysNAND, you may have to remove that host folder inside of Atmosphere. So that way you can go back to using online services. But for now, I add those just in case. So that way you don't accidentally update uh, when or you won't get those pop-up messages to update and then you accidentally update like that. So now moving on, uh, those of you that use my CFW packs, the best way to test them out is with the folder. And if, of course, if your pre-installed titles work as well, but if you can use a folder and it works, then the CFW pack is working as it should for that basic function that I mentioned earlier. If you're interested in this HP menu, uh, the other side version that I have, you can leave a comment down below and I can help you out with that. But inside here, as long as you have an internet connection already established before using my version of the AO Switch Updater app, then you can go into it. So we have internet connection and enter it. Now, I did not change anything. This is just the regular AIO Switch Updater app. The credit is still there for the dev. All I did was on the source code when I rebuilt it, I just have it point to my GitHub packs here. So um, from my, uh, the video in the description, you can follow that. If you don't know how to use the AI Switch Updater app, of course, before you use this, I highly recommend deleting the config folder. I'll probably put a screenshot somewhere on the screen and you delete that folder and then you would use this and it just minimizes any crash issues. But of course, if you experience any crashing on any of the options that you choose after clicking this, then you can uh, leave a comment down below and I'll try and help you out as best as I can. So we always want to update the CFW first before we update to 20.5.0. So most likely you will be at a lower firmware, but I did also add 20.5.0 here so that way if you do want to update eventually you can i've also uh, leave any previous updates or firmwares that i have dumped on my own accord from my own switch just in case you want to update to the any one of these so with 19.01 being like the best one at the last of the best one we should be uh, you could update to that if you feel like it so there we go. Um, I did want to tell y'all that here in this side is the deep sea. I have disabled it this time because it does offer older firmwares and I don't want to have any confusion in this. But I was thinking that I can change this section. It might take some time, but I can change this section to like the things that I update. So it could be uh, mission control or it could be Tesla menu maybe it is on overlay like you can have these things sys clock i can add these uh, links here and possibly have them just download from the ao and maybe work from there so if you made it this far in this video let me know if that is something interesting for you 
and uh, it'll take some time, but uh, it's very possible, I believe. But other than that, everything is working fine on my end, so let me know. Uh, thank you, everybody that has supported this channel. Uh, I feel bad that I'm not doing a tutorial guide. I know a lot of people don't like my long videos or my rants, but I appreciate those that do take the time to listen and watch the videos. So thank you for those uh, that have supported the channel, uh, subscribed, and also donated to the channel as well. So I hope everybody's doing okay, even though the world is kind of hectic. But uh, as far as right now, hopefully uh, my packs help you out in any way. But yeah. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it works for you. Let me know if it doesn't work for you. Also, let me know if you would want me to add those features in the AO switch updater. Other than that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.